The life of a house cat is usually a pretty tame affair. You eat, you sleep, you look at the birds through the window, and you bat around the odd fake mouse. Easy stuff, really. But sadly, those perfect days can become downright stressful thanks to the pussycat plague known as the hairball. So in a bid to help us understand this affliction, someone somewhere came up with the idea of April 24th as being National Hairball Awareness Day. What do you think of that, Rex? Okay, we're here with Ruth and we're in the West End. Now, Ruth is a cat owner. Now, what's your cat's name? Uh, Molly. Molly. Now, Ruth, I'm just wondering what you're going to be doing today to celebrate National Hairball Awareness Day. <laughs> I don't know. We're here with Joan. Now, Joan, you're here with two dogs, but yet you're a cat person. Absolutely. I've had cats. All, always had cats. When I retired, I got these. Now, Joan, here's a question for you. It's National Hairball Awareness Day. What will you be doing to celebrate? Oh, I already buy him some uh, hairball treat things, you know, that he hucks up. Well, he hucks them up anyway. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Celebrate it for God's sake. Well, Besides, it pick it up and <laughs> put it in the toilet. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. Okay, dear. That's great. Thank you. That's great. So we're here inside the Yale Town Pet Hospital with uh, Dr. Robert Spooner, and uh, we're talking hairballs today, Dr. Spooner. Um, did you know that it's National Hairball Awareness Day? Only because you just told me. <laughs> They don't send out a memo? No, no, we're not. No t-shirts, no uh, public information. So you have no plans to celebrate later then? I do now. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about hairballs. Everybody's sort of seen cats going through that coughing or heard about them. What are they exactly? They're balls of hair, essentially. Um, cats, through normal grooming processes, will ingest a fair amount of hair. Um, if that isn't passed through the stomach into the small intestine in little tiny bits and pieces, it will accumulate in the stomach. Uh, the stomach is constantly working at like a snowball almost, and it can accumulate there with food, with uh, other ingested material like plant material, and form uh, a substantial wad of stuff. So Dr. Spooner, when should people be concerned that their cats are maybe having a real bad hairball issue? Um, if vomiting is happening more than um, you know, once a month, pay close attention to it. What's the biggest hairball you heard of? This cat's going to walk on your head, I'm telling you. In school, the biggest one I saw was from a cow. It was about the uh, size of a football. A cow gets a hair. What is a cow, well, cow doing any, with a hairball? Any animal with hair can get a hairball. Now there are remedies, right? There's some, and dietary things you can add or yep, yep. put in there. Um, they help to lab lubricate the uh, the hairball. They help to uh, somewhat break down the hairball. Um, they uh, they can be added to the food or their diets themselves that uh, that will do this. Um, grooming your cat on a regular basis will also help reduce the amount of hair the uh, the cat is ingesting, and that can uh, reduce the frequency of, of hairball vomiting. So we ask you to take a minute and think about Hairball Awareness Day and honor house cats of the world by giving your feline friend a good brushing. Their throats, digestive systems, and your carpets will thank you.